Hey guys, you're watching Tech Edit. My name is Basil, and today I've got 10 of the best smartphones around comparing the loudspeaker at maximum volume. What are the phones? The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max, Huawei P60 Pro, Asus ROG Phone 7, Red Magic 8 Pro, Pixel 7 Pro, Honor Magic 5 Pro, and the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. All of these are top tier flagship phones, but how do they stack up when you're listening to them for a long time? A bit of a spoiler, I found one super tinny, really difficult to listen to for long periods, and I absolutely loved one. I actually have a musician friend who disagreed with me on their favorite, so we'll get into my findings in a bit, but you can actually decide which one's best for you, because I've recorded all of them playing the same tracks on a Sennheiser MKE 400 microphone equidistant from the phones. Alongside the phones, I've also got two phones with sound level apps so you can see how objectively loud they are in the space. Well I've listened to tons of different kinds of music to test across all of them and that's what I'm going to draw from. For you to save time I've picked four specifically. Hip hop, electric type pop, a little bit more acoustic vocally type pop and finally some rock. So I've linked them all in the time code below so you can hop skip and jump to the point you want and at the end I'll be relaying my thoughts on each individual one. All of the music from Epidemic sounds. I've put my referral link below as well and let me know what you think in the comments section. Right, let's get to the music. Now I've taken that last bit and I'm going to play it back to back across all the phones so you can hear the same bit of music being played across all of them. Still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them break it I still count wins when they got it on break it off break it I let them and now let's listen to some pop music. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But I'm not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn. Cause baby, I got you, you. And once again, the same clip.
dialing back the electronics, a bit more acoustic-y type pop. same clip for all of the phones. some rock. And again, the same clip. After listening to all 10 phones, the loudest for me in the room was the Honor Magic 5 Pro. It had a really, really strong sound that carried and it was never super unpleasant. 
but it wasn't the best. I thought the ASUS ROG Phone 7 had the most depth and was the easiest to listen to for long periods. Interestingly though, I had a musician listen to all of the tracks and they picked the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Even though for me, it got a little bit shrill at max volume, they said that the sound separation on the iPhone was superior. As for the Burst Eardrum Award, the one that I just couldn't listen to for too long at all, that goes to the Pixel 7 Pro. It really did get super shrill and uncomfortable at max volume after an extended period. As for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV and 5, I noticed a little bit more clarity from the 1 Mark V, but they were very similar sounds. They're warm, they're easy to listen to for long periods, didn't get too shrill or trebly, and that's the same with the Huawei P60 Pro. I quite enjoyed listening to all three of those. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra was actually one of my least favorite. It has quite a tinny, pitchy sound compared to some of the more rounded phones, especially the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate. I was quite impressed by the Red Magic 8 Pro, definitely the value champ. Starting at 509 pounds, its sound carries really nicely. And while it's not the fullest, it's still got a decent roundness to it. And so I've come to realize that me personally, I don't like trebly, trebly sounds, even if they give better sound separation. So I gravitated more towards the ASUS ROG Phone 7 Ultimate and the Sony phones, as well as the Huawei P60 Pro. The iPhone's good. It kind of falls in a category with the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the Honor Magic 5 Pro. It's got a nice roundness to it and it doesn't sound as shrill as those other two, but it's still just a little bit too pitchy cheap for me. Then there's the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, a little bit below, and the Pixel is definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, my least favorite. Oh well, Google, at least you've got that excellent camera system to lean on. And so with that, my ultimate smartphone speaker comparison draws to a close. Hopefully you've enjoyed listening to some of my opinions, but more importantly, listening to the tunes and drawing some conclusions of your own. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Like the video if you did indeed like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.